Please turn to page 196 for opinion writing stage two. Up at the top of our page, what do we have? Again, it's always the same. We start with descriptors. What skills that are aligned to our standards will we be teaching at this stage under content and organization, sentences, and mechanics? Down below, we have an example of a finished piece of writing at stage two. Notice there's a picture and then there's just a couple of sentences for the opinion. On the right page, on page 197, what you will see is a template the students are going to use in order to understand what they need in their opinion as well as how to form their sentences in their opinion. Now let's look at what we do at stage two. First of all, we finish reading a story and we always declare that we have an opinion. At stage two, I'm going to show you how to write an opinion, and in this case, we're going to use a story. Then I will also model with you how to write an opinion for information. So we're going to use the little red hen for the, a story opinion, and then I have an information book, Weather, that we will use to write an opinion about information. Let's do the little red hen, an opinion about a story. When we have an opinion, after we finish reading a story, Let's say I just finished reading The Little Red Hen. I'll say to the children, boys and girls, I'm going to have an opinion. An opinion is when I, the reader, tell what I think or how I feel about information or a story I have read. I have an opinion about The Little Red Hen. I'm going to tell you what I feel about The Little Red Hen. The Little Red Hen is filled with many sad parts. I just said my opinion. I have an opinion. The little red hen is filled with many sad parts. I have the children hold out their hands and what do they do? They go like this. They go, prove it, prove it, prove it. Back it up, back it up. What are some sad parts in the story? Oh, so I need to go back in the story and I need to show you some sad parts. So I flip through and I'm going to show them one part that was sad. And then I'm going to draw a picture of that. So I go to the story and I show, oh, here's the sad part. Look at the red hen. She's doing all the work and, other, and the other animals are sleeping. That is so sad. Everyone look at your buddy and say, that's sad. That's sad. I know it is. So then I draw the picture of the red hen working and the other animals sleeping. I'm going to say to the kids, all right, I have my evidence there. Now what do I need to do? I'm going to go over to my writing sentences and I'm going to let those sentences help me figure out how to write out my opinion. So now that I have my opinion, what am I going to do? I'm going to go over here and read. My favorite book was, what is it everybody? The Little Red Hen. I'm going to say that again, ready? My favorite book was The Little Red Hen. I need to write this down. So I go over and I write my favorite book was, and then I go The Little Red Hen. Uh-oh, how do I capitalize it? I could just use the book and I could actually copy the title off of the book. While I do that, I can also say capitalize the first word and all the important words in a title. So let's look, the, yes, that's the first word. Even though it's not an important word, it's the first word. So that's why it's capitalized. Little, that's an important word, red hen. Those are all important words. And then I'm underlining it because it's a book. It can stand on its own. So I'm going to give it almost like a floor that it stands on because it can stand on its own, that title, because it's a book. We have my favorite book was The Little Red Hen. And I used my template sentence over here to orally rehearse it, say it, and then I wrote it down. Now I'm going to go over here and plan my next sentence. What emotion what am I saying? What is my opinion about this book? I'm saying that it has many sad parts. I'm going to say the next part, and I'm orally rehearsing this. One of the saddest parts was when, okay, look at my evidence. So who's doing the sad part? The little red hen. And what was sad about it was doing all the work while the other animals slept. Let's go back and say it again. One of the saddest parts was when the little red hen was doing all the work and the other animals slept. Orally rehearse that part and then I go over and I say it over and over as I write it out. There's our opinion for stage two. And this is assigned to kindergarten 
Also, it could be for first grade. This is a great stage to start first grade because the children now will have two sentences for their opinion and they also have the element of writing a title as well as their opinion in their writing. So we have our stage two, we have our evidence with a picture, we have the title of the story, and we also have the opinion and telling why your opinion is, and in this case, the saddest part. I also have here the book Weather. What if I was doing stage two for this book Weather? I just finished reading this book to the children, or maybe a couple of parts of this book, a couple of the chapters, and I say to the students, Boys and girls, I have an opinion. We've just been reading this book, Weather, and I want to tell you what I think about the information in this book. And I'm going to tell you what I think about it. I think that there's many interesting facts in this book. So then what do the kids do? They say, prove it, prove it, prove it. Back it up, back it up. Oh, so I have to actually go back in this book and find evidence. So I'm going to go to page 15. Here's my evidence. I'm not just going to look at a picture. I think I'm going to read my evidence here. And it says, Antarctica has the coldest climate on Earth. Oh, <gasps> that is so interesting. We've been learning about penguins. Here's our penguins right here. And now, one of the places where these penguins live is Antarctica. And that's at the bottom of the world. And it's the coldest place in the world. Wow, that's really interesting. So then what would I do? I would go back over here, look on page 196 where we had the hen. I would then draw the world, show Antarctica on the bottom and how it's the coldest. And then I would practice. My favorite book was Weather. One of the most interesting parts was when I found out that Antarctica was the coldest place on Earth. I'd orally rehearse that and I would write it out on the lines. This is your stage two opinion writing that you can use for stories or information. Let's move on to stage three.